I'm really hoping that this time of stopping our normal habits and routines is paused long enough for people to decide and have the fortitude to create something different. transport is a blessing and a curse right now um, yeah. because we had to use it the society that we built especially in the last year or two even where you can get a single sheet of loose leaf paper delivered to your door instead of going to the store to get a whole bunch of things what's the impact of that how has that changed i mean is that a good or a bad thing are there like um efficiencies in terms of use of fossil fuel that comes from all that shipping what do you, what do you think about that yeah, it, I think it's a multivalent question. It's got a lot of moving parts. One of the dangers is in examining a part of a question outside the context of the whole question. I think that particular, I think there are efficiencies in having fewer deliverers of goods rather than all of us going around and doing all of our errands. So I think that there's probably an efficiency and a reduction in ecological impact. At the same time, I think we have to look at what we're purchasing and why. If we were just to take this time to look at how we've shifted that system without taking the time to look at what we're getting delivered to our homes, I think that that would be an important omission. I feel like this pause needs to be pretty long for people to get to the point of that realization. We're not going to ride this out. We have to ride this somewhere else. A mindset shift from it's okay to have somebody deliver a single sheet of paper to do I even need a single sheet of paper? <laughs> I like to write in these Molsky notebooks. And I thought, the day will come when I can't get this notebook. So do I choose to shift now into writing on something different? And what would that be? Or do I choose to shift later when I have to? I think that takes a lot of self-awareness and reflection to get to that point of thinking about things in that way. And that is one of the new offerings that we've woven in um, at the farm this spring. I had one session so far that we were able to offer online of exploring the inner landscape and looking at our interior spaces and what's going on inside of us determines what we're experiencing on the outside. And I think that's a really important place for people to spend time in the interior space.